like this. Bucket here, bucket as a bench. Just uh, having a little uh, ride this afternoon after work. Just got to a place called Thawa. Uh, not too far from uh, home or work. Uh, just south of town. And uh, there's a nice little campground out here that I haven't actually been to before that I want to come to. So I thought so I'd go for a little bit of a ride and check it out. So here we are on our way. The Cotter and Corn Forest up that way. That's the way you go. There a lot of bike riders do that loop on weekends. There's a, uh, the Cotter ride sort of through the mountains around the uh, Cotter River. It's a nice ride. Very busy on weekends though. A lot of riders. Um, but yeah, I haven't been out to this uh, campground before. This is one of the ones I want to check out. So I figured it's a beautiful day today. So I thought I'd leave work and uh, we'll come and check it out. So there we go. We'll uh, get up real soon. I haven't actually been here, so uh, hopefully it's uh, well signposted. And uh, we'll find our way in and. Um, jump off the bike and have a bit of a walk around check it out. So here to our right, we've got the model playing club. Pretty nice mountainous views. Looking towards the, uh, the valley. This campground is called a uh, Honeysuckle Campground. Uh, it's where the old Honeysuckle satellite dishes used to be. It's been torn down now, but uh, that is where the moon landing was actually streamed through Honeysuckle for the States. Because at the time it was on this side of the uh, on this side of the world. So uh, the uh, feed was streamed through honeysuckle uh, satellite dishes. And uh, yeah, now the buildings have been torn down, it's fallen, and uh, been turned into a uh, campground. There's also a nice walk nearby where you go up to a place called uh, Roomba Rocks, which has a lovely look out over the back of these mountains. Um, it's fun to do that one day. Coming out to a day trip. Cook up some lunch, go for a walk over on the rocks.
here is the Oral Valley. So this whole valley was ablaze in the uh, 2025s. the Oral Valley, Valley campground which is only three kilometers that way I could keep going that way and check that out too that isn't far off the main road I could check the other one out on the way back um, since I'm only three k's away I might do that actually so hopefully it's a bit better signpost because I mean it's down there Jesus is it down there that looks blocked off so maybe not Road, you know, that's you there, or a road. I'll grab my phone, and have a look. Um, yes, this is Oral Road, which has the campground on it, but it is closed. Okay, the Oral Valley uh, campground looks closed still, probably still some damage to do with the fires and uh. So I can't check that one out, so we'll head back and over the river, then head up Apollo Road and check out uh, Honeysuckle. No one coming, let's go. That was an old house over there, or an old barn, but whatever it is, it's nothing now. sign on the other side. That would be why I missed the turn. Ten K, okay? 
just uh, take my time and check out this wonderful view, my goodness. This is absolutely beautiful. Wobbly. Oh, what that front front tire just uh, slide in on that uh, dirt. Pay a bit more attention, I think. See the black trees where the fires went through. The regrowth is coming back now. It's good to see. Pull up here and have a bit of a look. So here we go, guys. Up at uh, Honeysuckle Campground, just to have a look around, check it out. It's absolutely beautiful little moment. Lots of wildlife. Got some wallabies jumping around. Some beautiful birds and stuff. Some great little. Uh, Spots to camp, it's very green. There's barbecue facilities, lots of fire pits and fireplaces. Um, there's toilets there as well. So it just makes the camping a little bit uh, more glamping. Um, looking at this, I honestly think this is going to be an absolutely perfect place to come and camp off the bike. Um, Maybe a 45 minute trip from home. Um, I think it's uh, absolutely beautiful up here. Never been up here before, like I said. Um, so definitely, uh, there's a few walks around too, so you can get for a few walks. So definitely looking forward to coming up and just uh, kicking back and relaxing, to be honest. This place is stunning. So up here is where the, uh, over here is where the old uh, tracking station used to be. You can see all the uh, uh, sort of NASA information and uh, there's a lot of uh, reading stuff here which talks you through uh, what Honeysuckle Campground was for. Um, so yeah, some good old history up here too. It'd be awesome, I might uh, go through it a little bit more, read it all and do a bit more of a chat when um, I should come up here for a camp, so when I uh, come up and check it out properly, it'll 
you know, give me something to do to talk on camera and to um, explain through sort of what was done and uh, give it a rundown on uh, what happened here. So you can see here's a picture of uh, what it used to look like up here. Should have been up here. And uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll give you a look at the campground down there when I get back there, and then uh, we'll jump up on, back on the bike and uh, get on home. Right, that goes. Honeysuckle Campground. I think this is definitely a winner. Um, some fantastic spots. Uh, I definitely am putting this one on the list. So, but it's time to hit the road. Let's uh, get home. There's a little fire pit and barbecue and tables. Toilets, water. A few campers up here. It's nice and green at the moment, the rain that we've had. So uh, I definitely think this is an absolute winner. And what a ride out here too, just absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Supposed to be going on now, a uh, big snowy ride this weekend, but um, the forecast is looking like a uh, rain basically from Thursday all the way through Monday. Um, so, I definitely don't want to sort of go up the snowy mountains, I don't think, in um, changeable conditions because um, it's still been getting into the minus up there overnight, so there could be plenty of black ice and stuff still. So, uh, I think uh, us and the other guys are going to call it off and um, do it some other time. Which is unfortunate because uh, we're all really looking forward to it. But uh, comfortability and safety first. Um, I don't think anybody wants to be riding cold and wet, especially on those very windy roads. If uh, the battery's going to last uh, all the way home, I didn't bring my spare batteries with me because I wasn't actually planning on doing this trip. This was a little bit impromptu. So uh, if it does cut out, then uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Who knows? It might even be here to camp. And uh, I hope to see you guys out on the road. <laughs>